Hi, we're here at LinuxCon celebrating 20 years of Linux. We invite you to take a short tour with us on a special gallery we put together with more than 120 items donated from the community. So our gallery starts in 1991 on a special timeline that we produce that takes us through the story of Linux from 1991 to 2011. 1991 is when Linus first posted his infamous message telling the world that he was creating an operating system. Linus was generous enough to donate his personal programming books that he used in 1991 and 1992 as he got started on Linux. Slackware was the first widely adopted distribution that came along just a year or two after that. Debian very shortly after that. Red Hat, supposed to reach a billion dollars in revenue this year. Uh, was founded in um, 1995-96. Linus actually acquired the trademark uh, in 1997. Linux Journal reported on that. Linux Journal actually donated their original issue from 1994. About 10 years into Linux, it really started to experience commercial success. Red Hat went public. It was the eighth largest first day gain in Wall Street history. IBM committed a billion dollars to Linux and started its Peace Love Linux campaign. And um, Google's co-founder, Sergey Brin, in an interview said that his Google was running on 6,000 servers. In 2001-2002, Linus decided to write an autobiography titled Just for Fun. We actually have the book here and did a really famous Charlie Rose interview to, to, to promote that book and to share the story of Linux with more people. Linus started to reach a new level of celebrity. Linux started to reach a new level of ubiquity about that time. In 2003-2004, IBM launched um, its I'm Just a Kid Linux campaign, a very famous commercial. During that same time, Ubuntu was founded by Mark Shuttleworth. And a few years later, Linux was featured on the cover of Business Week, really heralding the, the business success that the operating system was having. In 2005-2006, Google acquired Android, which eventually led to being the most successful operating system on the market. Here are some very special items, especially the whiskey bottle that was just recently presented to Linus by kernel developer Greg Crow Hartman at LinuxCon Japan to celebrate Linux kernel 3.0. On display on our main wall are the winners of our annual Linux.com t-shirt design contest. And the winner you'll see is in the middle, elevated with the balloon. It's called Flying Penguin. And we have a number of just for fun items celebrating Linux. Red Hat donated the proverbial Red Hat. IBM donated the wristwatch that was introduced at CBIT in 2001. One of the original consumer devices, I would say, that were based on Linux. And here we have all 14 Ubuntu software releases donated by Canonical. Patrick Volverding donated a number of Slackware software items, including uh, Slackware 1.2.0 on floppy disks. Texas Instruments donated both a Pandora board and the first TI OMAP-based Overo Series motherboard. A very special note, we have the original purchase order for Red Hat's first sale of Red Hat Linux. IBM's John Bouvet donated the Peace Love Linux campaign flag, and Monta Vista donated an existing piece that they had that they were happy to share with us for the gallery for their Hard Hat Linux release. This showcase is a Linux library and includes a number of books and publications from over the years, including Red Hat Summit Free Press from a number of their Red Hat Summits, Bob Young's book Under the Radar. This oldie but goodie was donated to us by Linux kernel developer Ted Cho, uh, who wrote his first Linux code using this machine. The story behind it was I had just graduated from MIT the year before, uh, and while I was MIT as a student, I had uh, uh, lots of nice computers uh, easily available for me to use, and I decided I want to have my own Unix-like system uh, available for me to use from my apartment. And so when I found out about uh, Linux and the fact that you could install it on a PC uh, with floppy disks, I ran out and I got this generic white box machine. This is a 386 uh, machine, 40 megahertz, with all of 16 megabytes of memory, uh, which was a lot of memory back then. Over the years, I've uh, put together and added extra disk drives and uh, tape backup. Uh, but I used this machine for probably a good four or five years, uh, up until about 95 or so, when I finally started upgrading to uh, something b uh, bigger and better. Intel donated this 1999 Intel dot station, Linux powered web appliance. It's got a, a phone receiver on the monitor. It's definitely unique. And Canonical was kind enough to send us a Dell netbook preloaded with Ubuntu 11.04. Linux operating system definitely receives its fair share of fan mail, but this is one of our favorites, written by 11-year-old Nick Mallett, who is a young and budding Linux user 
who wrote the Linux Foundation, expressing his gratitude towards to the community and to everybody who works on Linux for creating such a great operating system that he can use now and into the future. It's really neat to look back at all the uh, past you know, 20 years of all this stuff and uh, uh, bringing up some very old memories as well. So. The overall gallery, uh, it really just blows me away to actually see the timeline and the, the evolution of the history of Linux. You understand after you've been a while in the industry how much things have progressed, but actually just seeing it graphically is, is a pretty amazing reminder of just how much this community has accomplished in 20 years, which seems like a long time, but it's actually a very short time. I think it's really neat. I'm glad somebody put together a little museum like this. I have some of these things, and I have a continual fight with my wife about whether I should keep them still. Like, what do you need floppy disks for? We don't have any floppy drives. And I'm glad there are people who are keeping them. Thank you so much for joining us on this special tour looking at Linux over the last 20 years. We look forward to the next 20 years and contributing and collaborating with you, the community. For more information or to learn more about Linux, please visit linux.com or linuxfoundation.org.